It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Drum Brew in Norway and it's a bottle of their Ginge Ale or Ging Ale. I'm going to call it Ginge though I think. It's a ginger infused Norwegian gourmet ale from Tromja Arendal in Norway. 330 milliliter bottle. Black bottle cap without further ado. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. The guys at Drum Brew were very kind enough to send me uh, this beer and a glass. I quite like the glass, it's very nice, it's a, a stubby bottomed glass. Got all that lovely unfiltered goodness into the beer then. It's not, it's, it's definitely unfined, unfiltered. But you can, there's no actual sediment to see the lumps and chunks in the beer. We've got a one to two finger, ever so slightly off white head. It's a hazy, amber, ginger if you like, coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Most fabulous. Wow! I love these Norwegian spice ales. Really, they do a fantastic job of brewing spice ales up there in Norway. It's like walking through a pine forest and it's just finished raining and you're running your fingers through the pine needles and the pine trees and the, just the forest, the wet forest. It's got that kind of Loads of ginger, loads of spice. Did I give the ABV? I think it's 4.7, 4.7% ABV. Let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Oh, wow, that is terrific, 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 loads and loads of flavour coming through. Lemon, ginger, spice, it's almost like, <laughs> um, as a family we get together and we order Chinese takeaway and what we do as a family, all the adults have the main dish and we put them all on the side here if they if, the, if we have it here and we have big spoons in each one and everybody comes out and helps themselves to everybody else's dish and you know it's that kind of concoction of, 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 of lemon and ginger and spice that I'm talking about here in this beer but it works in life in general you know it works in, in ingredients in, in meals lemon and ginger this is wonderful Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm banging on about here? Just a mix of combination of flavours hitting each other and clashing against each other. The, the citrus from the lemon and the, the spicy and the pepperiness from the ginger all kind of whacking against each other but working, working at the same time. Fantastic drinkability. Really nice and easy drinking, very refreshing. Carbonation really pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. They've called it a gourmet ale. I can see why they've called it a gourmet ale because there's just so much going on, so much flavour profiles. Lovely, a little bit of kind of light biscuity malt flavours coming through. A little bit of bitterness as well, they've added some hops into the beer, but th this is wonderful. 
wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Cinnamon, lemon, ginger, spices, black pepper, beautiful. Um, the recipe has been perfected over a period of many years before we finally nailed it and broke the ginger ale code. <clears throat> not too sweet, not too bitter, just a well-balanced mixture of fruity hops, blended malts, fresh ginger and a hint of lemon and chilli. Ah! So the spices is actually chilli in the beer. The final product is a refreshing drink in its own right as well as the perfect taste enhancer and complement to a range of different kinds of food from sushi and spicy food to Norwegian meat broth. Oh that sounds fantastic. Norwegian meat broth. Lovely, what a fantastic beer from Drum Brew, the Ging Ale, Ginge Ale. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!